hello hello guys in this video we're going to see how to create a qr code in microsoft powerpoint but we can also create it in microsoft word and microsoft excel and so on and why do we need to create a qr code in microsoft powerpoint or in microsoft word we just need to create the qr code to make things easy easy access of uh, online websites maybe you just have to just have a link that you want to you want to share to share uh, to different people in your document you just want to share a, a, a powerpoint document or a microsoft word document to different people and those people will need to, to access any link maybe there is a link that you just want them to access there is no need to, to type the website. There is a way to use a QR code so that everybody with a smartphone will just scan the QR code and media tree reach the, reach the website. How to do it? How to create it? To create a QR code in Microsoft PowerPoint, we just go to the insert. You see, I have uh, I have uh, my PowerPoint, my PowerPoint slide. This is a title content slide. Um, to create a, a QR code, I need to go to the insert, insert tab. Arriving to the insert tab, you see here in in the add-ins group, you can see it here. The add-ins group. There is where we get we are written get get add-ins my add-ins once there are add-ins that you have uh, you have used it they'll be here in my add-ins but if you just need an add-in add-ins the new add-ins you go to get add-ins within the get add-ins there once you just click here there is a store there is a store where you can just search for different add-ins let me click here to get add-ins can see they are loading many many add-ins yeah as you see here you have based up of the year there's document review editors uh, picks here there is education add-ins microsoft 365 certified you can see add-ins here productivity reference here so you can even search here there are different add-ins but let me here see you have see here there is a store you can search for mail for more add-ins but now i just want qr for office let me here type qr for office qr for office you can see it here then i go to search i go here to search to see if I will just get the add-in and wait a little bit. You see here, I get the QR for of uh, QR for Office. Then I go to Add. I click on Add, and then I go to Continue. And wait a little bit. Now it's uh, it's here opened. You can see now I have my add-in. In time, I just want to go back there. I will no longer go to get add-ins. I'll just go here to to my add-ins. Here, there is listen tree add used add-ins. This is QR for Office add-ins. And here you see here in the in the left corner, you can see. Let me try to zoom. There is where we we, we just enter the key, the URL or text your uh, text you would like to encode. And here you see there is HTTP, you can see. Here you will just click here to select the type of the link you just want to, to encode. And let's see and select HTTPS. Let me choose this one. You can just go to, you can here choose HTTP, HTTPS, mail to, tell, SMS, geo, and custom. You can even custom. 
And let me here choose HTTPS for secure website, HTTPS. And down here you see, once I scroll down, we have our QR, our QR sign. You can see here, I can just increase the size. You can see, I can just increase the size, I can reduce the size. Here you see it's eroding. And here there is a background color. You can select the, the background that you want, that you QR just called you want, to, you want it to have. And before inserting the QR code here, the, the Q, this QR code, you have just here to put a website that you just want to uncall. Once somebody tries to scan this QR code, we made it to reach the website or they, they, we, we just reach the, to the link that you just have put there. It can be a video link, it can be any link. And let me just try to move to, let me go to, to YouTube. Let me just, uh, here I have a video that I've made, you can see. Let me just uh, click to open this. And uh, let me just try to, to copy the link. Let me just go up there and copy the link. You can see here the link is, the link is HTTPS. It is HTTPS, you can see it here. Uh, that, that is why here for you to be with it, this S stand for a secured website. I just, that, that's why I just have, uh, I just have chosen HTTPS instead of HTTP. Once it is not secured, you can just uh, take HTTP. Let me just copy and go back to my PowerPoint, I just want to paste it here. Let me uh, hold Control V. Now here you see I have, I have my link copied here. As you see here, I have HTTPS that was here, and here there is a new HTTPS that is coming with uh, my link that I've copied. What do I need to do? I just have to here to to remove this HTTPS because here it's already here, and this uh, must be removed to stay with www.youtube.com and so on. Let me here just uh, put my cursor here and delete what I have there. It's already there. Now you can see here, here my QR here can be now generated. You see here there's the ring. Media tree see the ring here above the QR code. Now, let me just go to insert. We have seen that we can just uh, increase the size of our QR code. You can reduce. You can here just uh, change the color. You can just do whatever you want. Let me go to insert. After just inserting, I can just even delete here. You can now resize this QR code. You can see here, you can resize. You can just change uh, the size. You can just move it. It's movable. You can even copy this. You can copy it anywhere. You can copy it in Microsoft Word. You can copy it in Microsoft Excel. You can just put it anywhere so, both, so that anybody with a smartphone, once you try to scan this QR code, we made a tree reach to the website or to the link that we have provided here. Let me here try to, to use my phone and to, to scan. Let me try to, to use my phone to scan for this. Uh, try to scan. Let me put it here. I'm just going to try to scan. Here you see is my phone. Yeah, this is my phone. I'm just going to try to, to put them together. Let me try to use it. Let me here on my phone open Chrome. You can see a Chrome. Let me try to open Chrome. Chrome browser and after opening Chrome you can see here on Chrome on Chrome you can see here there is a camera and this camera can be used to this camera can be used to, to scan to scan a QR code and we select if you just want to browse if you just want to search you just choose what you want to do let me just click here let me click here and see if I can just use my camera to scan this QR code. Yeah, 
I can now see I have my camera. Now here you just have to adjust the camera to this QR code. I'm not trying to adjust. And here I just have to click here for search. Because I just want to go to this, uh, maybe here you can just click here to text, to translate, to whatever. But here I just want to use this search to go to the website. Once you share the document like this one, you only need to to share this document to somebody. Anybody with this QR code will just go to immediately to the link without typing the link. Only scanning like this. Let me try to, to scan. Let me tap. I tap. I tap here. You can see my phone is looking for the result. Now you see here get the ring. Immediately you see here the response. I click here to the website. You can even share the link. I go to I click to the website here to see how my phone is going to browse immediately go to browse this. Let me just wait a little bit. You can see now here just made a trigger to the to the video that I have just uh, put the link there. Guys, this is very important. When wherever I share this this document, wherever I share this P, uh, this PowerPoint document with this QR code, uh, the people with the document will not will no longer need to we no longer need to come and and type this link. Only scanning with the scanning with the smartphone and media tree. I was kind of uh, reach to this uh, to this video. You can put any ring. You can put any ring there and create your own your own QR code. I can even just uh, I can even just uh, copy this uh, QR code. Let me try to let me try to create uh, to create a world document let me go here and create a world document and try to open it and i just want to copy this qr code copy and i can paste it here i can paste it here in microsoft word I can paste it here you see in microsoft word i have the same qr code and everybody with those or anyone with this qr code can do the same you can just use it in microsoft world in microsoft powerpoint you can even just copy this in microsoft excel instead of copying also once you just go to the insert in microsoft world and you, just, you go just there to insert here you see there is way to to get add-ins you can go to get add-ins as we did in the powerpoint or you can just go to uh, to the recent reused add-ins you can see here there is my add-ins if there is no add-ins that I have added you don't need to come here to your add-ins but you go to get add-ins and you go to search or you can just here categorize you can just choose the the ones from education Wikipedia you see here must type here are many different add-ins Guys, I hope you find this video interesting, very important, and this is how we can just use QR code to any link. You can share the QR code. Everybody with it will media tree scan and get to the point. Guys, enjoy the video and see you next time in other videos.